Below us is a damaged concrete porch. My company, Dependable Concrete, was hired to restore this porch and save the customer thousands of dollars by resurfacing the porch. And in this short video, I will demonstrate to you step by step how I completed this job. Let's go take a look. As displayed, Miss Washington's unsightly porch is stained and pitting. Stay tuned and let me show you how I saved Miss Washington thousands of dollars by resurfacing her porch instead of excavating and replacing it with new concrete. And later in this video, I will share with you the materials we used to complete this project. The most important step to resurfacing concrete is prepping the job. My goal is to make this porch look like new and to extend the life of this resurfacing job. Removing all loose material is critical at allowing the resurfacing material to adhere to the surface. A strong bond between the surface and the material is crucial at prolonging the life of this job. Before applying the resurfacing material, I like to apply a concrete bonding adhesive to guarantee a strong bond between the surface and the resurfacing material. I use a rough nap roller to roll on the adhesive to allow for an evenly applied coat. I am applying this glue at full strength. Remember what I said earlier, my goal is to extend the life of this resurface job. A premature peeling of this new surface is a failed job, so it's important to follow all the right steps and to not take shortcuts. Shortcuts like adding water to the glue or not removing flaking concrete. It's important to fill all of the pocketed areas first. If not filled, the pockets will show in the final coat. Again, my goal is to make this pad look like a fully replaced concrete job, but at a fraction of the cost. Pitted and pocketed areas is a dead giveaway that this job was resurfaced. And besides, it doesn't look professional. You can pre-purchase a resurfacing mix, but I like to design my own mixes. It gives me the flexibility to make adjustments to the conditions of a particular job. This is a rich, tacky mix that's being applied. It's one part clay sand to one part Portland cement to one part glue. All of these products can be purchased from Lowe's or Home Depot. I will add this information below in the description box, but remember to subscribe so I can demonstrate to you how to resurface other concrete surfaces. The riser must not be rushed. It's what everybody sees first. Therefore, to give it that new concrete look, it must have evenly applied glue and cement. It must look flat and not lumpy. This is day two. We are applying the final coat. The cement mix ratio has been adjusted. We are now using two parts play sand to one part Portland cement and half part glue. This mix is less tacky because of the less acrylic glue and less Portland cement, but it has a more of a cementuous texture and color. An even stroke broom finish is important for texture and traction. It also aids in mirroring the look of new concrete. I am now applying a clear sealer to this resurfacing project. Again, I will leave information of this sealer in the description box below. The clear sealer prevents dirt and grime from grinding into the surface. It also repels liquids such as oil or salt water. A clear coat application is another step at prolonging the resurfacing job by increasing its durability. As you can see, there's a big difference. This porch looked like it was a newly poured concrete pad. Miss Washington's job is now complete. Refreshing the look of any concrete surface quickly refreshes the look of a home. In addition, Miss Washington saved thousands of dollars by opting to resurface versus complete replacement. Please like, share, and subscribe to Dependable Concrete's channel. This will allow me to inform you on products we use to complete this project. I immediately respond to all questions and comments, so leave a question or comment below. Please click the yellow mixer icon on the screen to subscribe to see more of our videos.